Hey guys, what's up? My name is Flare Gun, and I have a tutorial for you guys. Um, this is gonna be how to very easily record commentaries in Sony Vegas. Any version of Sony Sony Vegas Pro will work. Um, I had a tutorial exactly like this, but I I was very amateurish and I uh, said things that really weren't necessary and stuff like that. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Once you have your um, gameplay that you want in, just uh, put that in. And what you want to do is you want to lower the volume. Um, I recommend at least negative 15 decibels, but I usually go with 20 because then you can even double click right here and edit the number. I'm going to do negative 20 um, because then you can't hear like super loud gunshots while you're commentating. That would be very annoying. Um, so anywhere from 15 to negative 15 to negative 20 works well for me. Um, so I would that's a thing you have to test out for your own on your own I meant um, so anyways now what we want to do is we want to edit the uh, preview quality of uh, of our commentary while we're viewing it now when you're not viewing it um, I recommend putting it on like a uh, draft quarter let's say you're like doing a Q and Q like me if you've ever seen one of those I don't really pay attention to the gameplay so I don't really need to watch it so I'm not gonna I'm gonna just set it to the lowest quality so I because I'm not watching it but let's say if you were watching it I recommend preview half because it looks really like kind of perfect quality there, but it's it's on a lower frame rate in the preview, um, even th even though it says the same. But it's it's on a lower frame rate so that you can actually view it faster. Um, this actually works for me preview half. So if it doesn't work for you, I recommend draft half. Um, it just blurs a little more um, and lowers the frame rate again. But uh, that shouldn't change anything while you're viewing it. Um, just less lag. So that'll that'll be good. So now that we have our um, quality our preview quality fixed now let's go ahead and actually start um, what you want to do is you want to create a new audio track and uh, what you want to do is you hold this but or not hold but click this button arm for record click that now you want to choose where you save the f the sound audio um, of where you're recording it now I have a I have a folder called voice Rex which means voice recordings and I'm gonna choose ok now when you see this it shows the um, the mixer pop up um, and this tells you how loud your mic is and stuff like that. So now down here, you see it says record. I can either hit that button or Control R, and it'll play and record at the same time. And that's super easy for commentating. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that just to show you guys what it looks like. Hello, my name is Crazy Kill. Blah blah blah. I'm commentating. Blah 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 blah. And then you just press the stop button, and this will pop up. If you failed on it, then you can click delete. Or if you uh, if you did good, you can cl click done, and it even has this thing to where you can rename it, like um, commentary one or something, and then you can um, save it. But I don't know why it failed right there. But anyways, um, that's how you pretty much do commentary, guys. I hope you enjoyed this, um, and I'll see you guys next time.